Hi, my name is Tanya and this is T's Journey. Please like and subscribe. Let me tell you a little bit about myself, but before I do, I would like for you to like and subscribe to my channel. It's new. I just started in January 2022 um, by urgence of a lot of friends and family. And the reason why I started this is because I have since retired from my government job of 35 years. And I retired for a couple of reasons. And one was for my diagnosis of my breast cancer. I had got diagnosed with breast doctoral cancer. And back in end of May, beginning of June of 2021. At any rate, my, my sister had gotten diagnosed with the same cancer about two years ago, maybe three. I'm not sure. At any rate, she's cancer free. However, she has a lot of side effects from the chemo um, and medication and the treatment she went through that she's suffering other ailments. Well, I refused. I didn't go that route. I decided to take the natural route because I believe God created us in his image. With that said, I believe he put everything on this earth that will heal ourselves. And I decided to go that route. So I went vegan. That was the hardest thing because I love my sweets, my dairy, and I love my seafood. I'm not much of a meat eater, so that was easy to give up. But at any rate, nonetheless, I went vegan. I learned how to cook vegan, and it's exciting. And this channel will cover some of the vegan dishes I make. I will show you how uh, the vegan dishes I will prepare. This channel is going to cover a lot of things about my journey, not only in cancer, but my business and converting my lake house into an Airbnb. But with the with the retirement, I was going to retire anyway when I turned 55, August of 21 had just passed. However, when I called to retire, they had changed the requirement on me and I was unaware. Well, I was, but I didn't think it applied to me because I was in the government for 35 years, but I did. It did apply. And they told me I could not retire until as soon as I could retire was December 2022, unless I asked for an early out by exception or they give an early out. So... I was like, okay, I can rough it through for uh, a year and four months. Well, after much prayer in October, God came to me very clearly and said, you need to retire now. So I went in and asked for exception for retirement because I wanted to focus on my health and my um, balance of my life and, you know, and do something I really, I enjoyed that too, what I was doing. But at any rate, um, I asked for it by exception on a Monday. They approved it on a Tuesday. Then Friday, they offered early out to everyone. Didn't matter, so I was going out either way. Now, nonetheless, um, I had decided I was going to go. I was going to retire early, and with that, I had started a new business called Mobile Signing. I got my notary. I started that in March, and have been doing a lot of signing. In fact, I had started filming, had to pause because I got a call about one I had scheduled for tomorrow. But due to the snow, they rescheduled it for Monday, and um. So I like that because I can pick and choose. And not only that, I can go direct. I started a business with that. And I, I will talk about that later in my journey and how you too, it's very easy and very little money to start that business. And you can immediately start earning money part-time or full-time. And I'm deciding to go full-time. At any rate, I also, um, I'm getting married to my love of 15 years in July of this year. And you all going to help me go through prepping for the wedding for that. And I'm thinking about Vegas because I'm not one that like to um, have a ha, prepare for a big ceremony because, you know, I'm just not that person. So I, we, we're, we're still in discussion. You can help us do that. Also, I'm converting my lake house. Um in Lake Louise, a gated community. My neighbor already doing it to an Airbnb and you all going to help me. This is where we should supposed to be um, filming for, from today. But because we got snowed in, we got almost two feet of snow in, in, on the farm and the trees came down and kind of blocked us out. Rick is out there changing Sean now and getting us unblocked. At any rate, um, I'm converting, converting my lake house into an Airbnb and you can all help me walk through that as far as rehabbing and making it we, we, with my interior design, we decide we might be going luxury. So I meet with her this Sunday coming up, supposed to be January 9th. So we can go through it and you all can walk through there and help me with the fixtures. Also, um, you're going to help me. Like I said, I'm going to be doing vegan dishes. And also, um, I have rental properties and properties, uh, land that I'm going to build on 
possibly and put a um Airbnb in it. One is in front row. I got on the tax sale. I got one of my rentals on an auction site. Well, I will talk about later on how you two can buy. And I got one on tax sale, which I I I, I bought in front row for twelve hundred dollars. That's right couple of years ago. But at any rate, um, like two years ago, right before the pandemic, at any rate, I will discuss that too, the difference between the tax I, taxes, because you got tax lien and tax deed. Virginia's a tax deed state, which I love because when you buy it at that tax sale, they got a 15 day where you go before the judge, then you close. Where tax lien, you they have so many months to redeem the property, but you get paid interest. I did buy two properties years ago and West Virginia, 500 for both of them. The first property was redeemed immediately. The second one, they redeemed it like a month before it was to expire. And I did get like a, I think I want to say 16% interest, but well, on $500 really, I really wanted the property. Nonetheless, I will talk about tax deed and tax sale, how you too can also, um, do tax sales and tax deed. Um, we also grab food here in the farm, which I will go through that, do that. In fact, Rick is building Greenhouses so we can harvest throughout the year. We grow asparagus. We have apple orchards, almond orchard we just planted, strawberry patch, our gourmet garlic, um, spinach, our, our lettuce, all that stuff, um, tomatoes, corn, um, sunflowers. We have sunflower seeds and everything. And we're going to do RV. We RV shopping. We already went to look at one. I, I did record it and I was going to post it, but it wasn't really good. But we went and looked at one about a week ago. But we're gonna, you can go with us to help us see what we go through in buying an RV because we're going to travel. We're going to hit different states of the United States and I will be blogging from that to discuss those different states and what I like about it. And um, like I said, I'm looking forward to sharing my journey and the different things I do. Also, I do retail real estate since 95 with my daughter, who is um, a s associate broker with our um, company, Samson. And she also have a credit repair business. And we, we really focus on getting people in homes who thought they could never own. And with little to no money or credit issues, I have a lot of lenders in my, um, in my um, pocket, well, lenders in my um, contact that I put my clients through to get them a home because I do believe everyone should own their own home or please, at least their dream and start building found a foundation for generational generational wealth. And I believe in getting rental properties as well. And I've helped clients get that. And I do encourage that. And I will be showing, um, sharing links or the process I went through to get them. Because like I said, I did tax sales. I did auctions on the courthouse step. My first property I bought back in 99. Um, auction on courthouse steps. Um, auction through the site. There's several sites where you can buy the um, properties. Um, so I will be covering that throughout this process. Also, my daughter, like I said, she has a uh, credit repair, which I will be linking below or at some point linking it. But I, um, we do try to get people into homes and I've been doing it since 95 as well in the retail side. And, this, and I also like to try, I have clients who have recommended to me different hustles to make extra cash. And instead of recommending it and just recommending it on, I at least try to try some of them to see if it's worth it. And one of the, one of the things I tried was, uh, ship an Instagram, Instacart, which was great. It made, I made one time, this was about, I started it right before the pandemic and I did a little bit through it. And then I, um, so, okay. Um, I, I, I see what you can make. And when I did it, um, I made part time some weeks six hundred dollars a week, and um, it's a way, it's a method to that. And then I will refer it to f families and clients. Also, I, I love dealing with the mobile notary because I meet a lot of people. I've had vegan, a lot of people vegan who helped me with my veganism, directed me to sites, apps that will lead you to restaurants that do vegan. But my daughter and my niece have been really great. My niece been sending me Instagram, um sites or YouTubes that prepare soul food vegan or vegan. And my daughter, she helps me find restaurants when we go out to eat. She says, oh my, this restaurant, we can have vegan dishes. And if it doesn't, we, my daughter and I have talked to the, the waiter and they help us prepare a vegan dish. And so, like I said, I'll be talking about all this, but just please subscribe and like. And the next video I'll have is probably next Monday because I have, um, like I said, I, I'm going to go 
I supposed to meet with my interior design at my house in Lake of the Woods to go through some what we're going to do to the property. So again, look forward to it. Please like and subscribe. I'm looking forward to sharing my journey with you.